The key treaty between the United States and Russia ran out at the weekend, though you'd hardly notice it, because Moscow and Washington have agreed to extend the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty, better known as START. This is the Stratfor Dispatch. I'm Colin Chapman. For nearly two decades, START has been a defining document on the strategic balance between the United States and Russia, who together account for 96% of all nuclear weapons. Despite differences between Moscow and Washington in recent times, neither wants to engage in nuclear warfare. Both sides want a new START, and US National Security Advisor James Jones said he was confident a new treaty would be signed. There's no reason to think that this won't be done, and, uh, and the uh, the uh, desire on both sides is very real and genuine. At a summit in July, U.S. President Barack Obama and President Dmitry Medvedev of Russia agreed to limit operationally deployed nuclear warheads to between 1500 and 1675 under a new treaty. That would cut current levels by about a third. There may be a number of technical points upon which the treaties are held up. At any treaty like this, the devil's in the details, and a word choice or a number or a definition or a limitation uh, can actually have an impact on the strategic balance between the two countries. The Kremlin and the White House have been pushing from the very highest levels for this replacement treaty to be signed and done. So it hasn't been subjected to any of the political or rhetorical tension between the Russia and the U.S. that's been going on for last year. From all accounts, negotiators have been at the table negotiating in earnest with an eye towards the deadline by the end of the year. Though at this point, we're most likely looking at a draft treaty, and it's unclear when Russian President Medvedev and U.S. President Obama will be able to sit down in the same room and actually sign it. At the moment, the hope is that the outstanding issues will not delay an agreement much beyond the end of this year. If they do, then leaders may just settle for the status quo.